What's up guys, welcome to the video today. To those of you that are new to my channel, welcome. So today is going to actually be a very different kind of video in the way that I'm actually going to be working out. You're used to seeing me train and lift and my style of training in the gym. Today I'm going to be doing something very, very different. So follow along and stay tuned and I will show you guys everything. What I'm going to be doing is actually called EFIT, and it is a form of electromuscle stimulation, which essentially forces your muscles to be constantly contracting while you're working out. One of my really good friends actually owns Ice Lab Cryotherapy uh, in Orange County. She has one of the only EFIT machines in all of California. So I let her talk me into torturing me and training me on the EFIT today, and I wanna take you guys along with me through the entire process. So. Stay tuned, wish me luck, let's do this. So this is the machine that we're gonna be working with today. I have to put on just some like cotton leggings and just like a cotton t-shirt. And then I'm going to get strapped and suited up in pants and a vest that will attach me to the machine. All right guys, this is Monica. She owns Ice Lab, where we're at right now. Can you tell YouTube what you are doing to this so, vest, like you're getting it all wet? Okay, <laughs> so these are the pads that have the electrodes and because we are using electricity, we wanna make sure it conducts, so we are getting it soaked. All right, so it has to be wet in order to conduct the electricity. Tell YouTube a little bit about EFIT. What are the benefits? Absolutely. How did it get started? How is it going to be different for me? This technology was invented for astronauts because obviously they're not able to train in space and this helps keep their muscles. I think most people have had some injuries where they had to use a tense unit which is basically electromuscle stimulation as well and very effective. We're really taking it a very big step further by basically covering the entire body with it. We are actually contracting the muscle and resisting that contraction. It can be for someone who's very busy, like I'm a mom, I don't have a lot of time to train. One 20 minute session equals two and a half hours in the gym. It's very, very good for any busy person really needs to get their workout in regardless, but they don't have the time. The other use is for somebody like you, who is an athlete, because we can go 30% deeper in the muscle than you can with traditional weight. You're able to focus on exactly the muscles that you need to either show or that you're utilizing, whether it's in tennis or golf. You can do actually exactly the specific movement that you're using in your sport and get those muscles so much stronger. So it can really help with like the your weak points, kind of strengthening them? Strengthening them and it's helping your performance because immediately when your muscles are so much stronger at such a depth, you're performing so much higher levels. So even people who just come in for regular training and then also go to the gym, which is what we suggest, they're lifting heavier, they're running faster. So your muscles are performing better right away. There are 40 micro contractions in the muscle every second. 40 micro contractions every, every second? second? Wow. Yes. So my muscles are gonna be cons consistently contracting the entire, yeah, time, entire time throughout you the get session. Little, tiny breaks. Am I going to be sore after this? Yes. <laughs> on this there's a delayed onset soreness which means the next day usually you're okay and you can do some cardio but then day two and three is when it really hits and okay you get those phone calls that i can't get up from the toilet and i hate you i'm excited to, for you to kick my butt yes. today it's gonna be the whole body working at the same time which is also something you have to get used to because normally you might work the upper body or the lower body and here everything is contracting at the same time simultaneously so actually your brain even has to make a lot of connections because it's a little bit overwhelming in the beginning, like, oh my God, everything is contracting. Right, right. So it's gonna probably be a little bit impactful on like the central nervous system yes, as well, exactly. too, causing that to be, to yes. work, which it does when you're lifting heavy in the gym too, yes. but I can see how like full body would be a, a, even more so. Well, and just like any workout in the gym, um, that leaves you feeling more empowered and, and happier because of the endorphins, 
same thing and you, because your brain is making those connections. I think it's making you look more good. Those, <laughs> that, po those post workout endorphins. Monica, can you tell YouTube what your pretty accent is from? Where you're from? I'm from Hungary. And how long have you been here? Way too long to still have this accent, but uh, <laughs> everybody likes it, so I decided I'll just keep you it. You just keep it. I wish I had it. I love just, it. Just put subtitles. I wanted to stay in Australia just for the hope that if I stayed there long enough, I would come home with an Australian accent. I love it. I love that accent. I'm all suited up, ready to go. Comment below if you think that Monica is going to be able to kick my butt enough to make me sore. We're about to find out. Kind of scared. I'm not gonna lie. She's suiting me up right now. <laughs> so you have to make it super tight, right? Yes. And you are tiny, so that is a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> so all of these buttons control the various different body parts. Three minutes of warm up, which is actually very intense. And we just need enough to get her out of breath and get her ready for her workout. So you want to start running. Okay. And it gets very heavy. Oof. Feels like I'm like being electric <laughs> and high knees as much as you can. Oh my god. It's hard to like lift my legs. <laughs> Do I need to go a little lighter? No, it's good. So with this workout there's a lot of communication between the trainer and the person who's working out because Sometimes people can take more and they don't say it, so we always try to push a little bit just to keep it challenging all the time. This is unlike any other jogging in place I've ever done. compound movements to pretty much hit every single muscle in the body and while all of these exercises were going down every single muscle was already contracting through the eFit machine so that made for a very 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 intense workout which I think you could probably see by the look of the faces I was making in all of the previous clips <laughs> I have 
never been so relieved for a workout to end. You guys, that was seriously very intense. I'm sure you could tell by the look of pain on my face during that workout footage. Holy crap. I think too because I didn't really know what to expect and as soon as the machine turned on and I could feel the rapid pulse and like contraction of my muscles, as soon as that turned on I was like, okay, this is going to be intense. It made every single movement, even the smallest little things, picking up those two pound dumbbells a million times harder. I know that this workout footage is so different from what you guys are used to seeing on my channel, but you know what? I have found, honestly, that some of the very best things that have come into my life were at times where I stepped outside of my comfort zone, and doing this today was definitely outside of my comfort zone. I wasn't just picking up weights and putting them down or stepping on a cardio machine. This was very, very much out of my comfort zone, and so I hope that you guys watching this can kind of take a message from this, regardless of whether it's with your workouts or anything in life. Don't be afraid to step outside of your comfort zone zone. Even when it comes to your workouts, if you're feeling bored and maybe you're not seeing changes come or you feel like you've reached a plateau, a lot of times just switching things up and doing things differently that may be outside of your comfort zone, challenging yourself by upping the weights even, decreasing your rep times, things that seem a little bit intimidating and scary at first that are going to push you outside of your comfort zone are ultimately some of the very things that are going to bring you the very best results. And even just in life in general, some of the very best things and experiences that I've had in life were at times where I pushed myself to step outside of my comfort zone, where I let go of fear that was holding me back from maybe doing that thing initially. I encourage you guys, think of some of the things that are holding you back just because you're scared to do them. Think of how many times you may be asking yourself what if and answering that question with all of the things that could potentially go wrong. I encourage you guys to kind of shift your mindset. When you ask yourself what if, instead of answering that question with all of the things that could go wrong, instead, Think of all of the things that could go right. Think of all of the things that you could potentially gain. I've said this before and I will preach this over and over and over again. If you wait until you're ready to do something, you're going to be waiting for the rest of your life. And I'm a firm believer that if you want something, at times you just really have to let go of the fear that's holding you back. Put one foot in front of the other and just go for it. Now when it comes to this workout today, will I be doing it again? Absolutely, that was incredibly challenging and I'm always up for doing things that are gonna challenge my body, challenge my mind. I had to talk myself into continuing and to stop myself from tapping out during that workout so many times. It was definitely more than a physical challenge, it was a mental challenge as well. So it's definitely not something that I'll be doing every day or anything like that. I would definitely would love to do it again. I will be keeping you guys posted on how I feel after this. The delayed onset muscle soreness kicks in and how I'm feeling, I'll definitely let you guys know. Doing this workout actually kind of gave me sort of a crazy idea. So you guys know how that guy on the Food Network on diners, drive-ins and dives, how he kind of travels all over the world just to try like these various different foods. What if I had a show where I traveled all over the world and tried tons of different kinds of crazy workouts? That would be kind of cool, right? A lot of people don't know some of these things exist. I mean, how many of you guys watching had no idea that something like the eFit system even existed? I wouldn't have known. I think that that would be a pretty freaking cool show. If you guys think that I should pitch that to like the travel channel, comment below and let me know. <laughs> One last thing before I wrap up this vlog, I'm considering doing a Q&A. It has been a very long time since I've done one and I know a lot of you guys here may be new to my channel, maybe you don't know many things about me or my background. If you guys are interested in me doing a Q&A video, give this video a thumbs up so that I will know that you're interested in the Q&A. You can leave a comment below as well letting me know that that's something that you're interested in. But definitely give this video a thumbs up and if it gets enough thumbs up, I will know that you guys are interested in that Q&A. And so on that note, I am going to wrap this vlog up here today. Don't worry guys, we will be back to my regularly scheduled workouts in the next video. I love you guys and I so appreciate you being here along this crazy journey with me and watching all of the random weird things that I get myself into, like electric muscle stimulation. I will catch you guys in the next video. Again, remember to give this video a thumbs up on your way out, subscribe to my channel, and I will catch you guys very soon. Love y'all.